As the final vote for the bill came up, Democrats, as a bloc, recused. There's a real conflict of interest for people voting on this today. So, Mr. Speaker, for me, because I believe this bill could directly impact my campaign committee, and I believe that this bill has a substantial financial interest in this matter, I must therefore recuse myself on voting for this bill. The minority party then all stood to speak, causing momentary confusion. But when it became clear what was happening, the speaker was not pleased. What you're basically saying is you don't want your constituents represented, and you have every right to do that. But I think let's be honest and say that if you are now taking a standard to say that if a bill affects you, you can't vote on it, you're not voting on the state budget, you're not voting on the GAB, you're not voting on almost everything on our calendar next week. That is an amazing place to be. And unfortunately, rather than showing the seriousness of the argument, you're showing that you're treating this institution like a joke. You want to know what's a joke? You want to know what's ridiculous? One guy writes a bill and tries to jam it down our throats in two weeks. That's a joke. This is a stunt. Every single thing we vote on in this body affects our constituents and in some way potentially us every time we take a vote. One Milwaukee Democrat was the most plain spoken of all about her decision to recuse. The real reason that I'm recusing myself from voting for this bill, Mr. Speaker, is because it sucks. This bill sucks. After all the recusals, the campaign finance bill passed unanimously. Here's how the state constitution allows a boycott vote like the Assembly Dems took on the campaign finance bill. No state public official may take any official action substantially affecting a matter in which the official, a member of his or her immediate family, or an organization with which the official is associated has a substantial financial interest. That recusal was spearheaded by Assembly Minority Leader Peter Barca of Kenosha, who joins us now. And thanks very much for doing so. Good to be with you, Frederica. So, it's a very important week for the state, and unfortunately it's not for the right reasons. So why did you decide um, to do that recusal? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we're, you're obligated to recuse yourself. It's not an optional thing. You're required if, in fact, as you just read the state law, you have a substantial financial interest. Now, we tried to amend this bill um, so we wouldn't have to ever recuse ourselves. Probably most prominently was our Representative Mandela Barnes, who said, let's have this affect us next election after your reelection. Because what Justice Scalia said is that along with this ability for corporations to be considered people, which is rather fanciful, but that you should have unlimited transparency. And that's the opposite of what we did here in Wisconsin. We did quite the opposite. We made it so there will be far less transparency. For people spending $2,500 or less, there's zero transparency, not even a disclaimer. And you can have unlimited spending in issue ads with, again, zero transparency, uh, zero disclosure, and no disclaimer whatsoever. We've never had that before, and we'll be the only state in the nation, the only state, Frederica. There's uh, um, six different states that do allow for unlimited corporate spending. We'll be the only one that will allow this zero disclosure and no disclaimer. As Jay Heck has said, we've gone from first to worst in the nation, and it is embarrassing, and I believe it opens up the state for massive corruption. Now, on the John Doe bill that was the third of this kind of trifecta um, this <laughs> week, uh, that prohibits the types of secret investigations for political crimes. What in your mind is the motivation for that? I don't know, but you know, Dana Walks from Eau Claire called it the Corrupt Politician Protection Act, which I think is so apt, because without that uh, type of ability for prosecutors, there's a very good chance that Governor Walker's six allies and aides when he was county executive may never have been prosecuted. And they actually need parts of it retroactive, believe it or not, not quite that far back. but. Why, if it is, in fact, something that shouldn't be utilized in Wisconsin, then they should have funded grand jury investigations, which are very expensive. They would not do that. Secondly, if they, in fact, thought this was such a terrible process to use, which has been used since we were a territory, in fact, then why not exclude all crimes? Why, why strictly politicians in political crimes?